Welcome to Crosser Technologies. Crosser brings the cloud closer to the things by enabling IoT and big data processing close to the edge. And I'm Michael Samuelson, and I'm the Director of Business Development for Australia. Today, billions of connected devices and sensors, things, are providing us with a massive amount of data, a volume never seen before. But larger volume of data doesn't automatically translate into better information. Data analytics and, and uh, visualization of real-time data is critical for the ability to turn data into information and turn information into actions, both for man and for machine. This is where the cloud falls a little bit short. The opportunity to act on the data might be gone by the time the data makes it to the cloud or to spreadsheets for analysis. The challenge and potential lie in complementing cloud computing with the ability to tra translate these floods of sensor data into actionable items closer to where the data is generated. Cisco, Microsoft, and Intel calls this, um, uh, calls this uh, fog computing. And in most cases, the actionable information is just a refined subset of the, the vast uh, raw data. Business intelligence analyzes data at rest. Its value comes from analyzing large amounts of historic data for strategic insights. This is best done in the cloud or in big data sensors. Operational, an, an, operational analytics is analyzing data in motion and acting on data in real time based on business rules and algorithms. This is best done in the edge or node closer to, where, to, closer to the data sources. So why is it important to go beyond cloud computing? Well, for one, cost. In most cases, around 90% of the raw data is not interesting to, to transport to or store in the cloud or in data centers. Latency. Some applications, in some applications, it's critical to act on real-time data right now and right then. Reliability. A lot of the deployments of IoT will be in areas with scarce or unreliable internet connection. And the node needs to, be, needs to know what to do with the, uh, the, collect, the sensor data even when the interruption with uh, the cloud is present and needs to know how to act until a uh, connection is restored. Another important aspect is that you need to be, we need to be able to fit into an existing IT environment. In most cases, or I think we heard 90% roughly this morning, there's going to be a pre-existing IT environment, which is already collecting a bunch of, of uh, relevant data. And we need to be able to drop into that type of environment and, and not redo everything from, from ground up. Because Thank you very much. Thank you to Cross Technology. Thank you. Questions from our judges, please. Um, so, really interesting, um, uh, particularly in the energy space, uh, out in the, the fields and mines, I, I think that's interesting. Have you got any customer examples where this is deployed at the moment, or what stage are you at? Yes. Yes, we do. We have uh, roughly 20 to 30 uh, customers globally, and, and one relevant case would be a uh, paper mill processing machine manufacturer. The, the machine uh, in, in operation is generating roughly half a gigabyte of data per second. S a subset of that data is interesting for the manufacturer of the machine, for product development, for, for R&D purposes, and, and, and comparing different machines in different uh, uh, environments, but also uh, 
a different, another subset of that information is important for providing predictive maintenance. And by that, he can increase his value towards the purchaser of the process machine and enable new business models for him. For the uh, paper machine operator, it's important with another subset of, of all this raw data to use for process optimization, higher yield, and schedule their own uh, uh, downtimes and, and avoid unscheduled downtimes. That's one example. Uh, thanks, yeah, really interesting product. Um, I guess one of the questions I'd have is how much of your business model is based on algorithms that you can plug and play to every single kind of customers that's the same, or do you have to customize each time? So really how replicable is your business model? Thank you. Of course, the, the algorithms and the business rules that uh, is going to sift through the raw data is going to be unique for each of the type of customers because it's based on their business rules that they are operating under. So we are not going to determine what those business rules are. The operator of, of his, his business knows what data is, is relevant to him. We just implement that and automate that process. So we do not come up with the algorithms by ourselves that is going to be applicable to every different type of customer. So what is your proposition exactly, your SaaS model? Uh, if you like, yes. But we do install a small server on, uh, on in the edge. So okay. yes, but essentially a, a service uh, model it is. Okay. And in the uh, paper mill example, is the who is the customer? Is it you? Because you mentioned both uh, the machine manufacturer who's interested in how the machine is running, plus the paper mill itself. So, do you have a, a value proposition for both both groups? In, in that in that case, uh, our customer is the paper mill machine manufacturer. Right. And the the paper mill, they don't will they don't... benefit from that as well. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Talk about the, the pricing model. Yes, the... it's, uh, uh, we operate on a uh, recurring license uh, model for the deployment. And uh, the pricing level is, is reflected by the number of nodes that you have uh, in, in the network or in the deployment. And it scales with, uh, with uh, expanding to more nodes, to, more, to, more, uh, to, to larger deployment. And, the, the yearly license goes up as well. So it's a pay-as-you-grow model, if you like. I think it's, it's a recurring license model. OK, thank you. Um, do you know Foghorn? And yes. what's your differentiation versus them? The, they are definitely a, a competitor for mm -hmm. us. Uh, we have customers. <laughs> <laughs> they raised more capital. Yeah, they raised a lot of capital. Thank you very much. Thank you. A round of applause for Crosser Technologies.